Hey guys, um, I just wanted to show you a better look at my um, my little baby shrimp. Um, this is, yeah, this water is dirty as you can see, but um, like I had said, when I um, was cleaning out the tank, this was all the dirty water. And I wanted to try and save some of the babies, so I've got a good amount in here. I don't know if you can see him moving. See a little black dot moving. <laughs> that is my baby shrimp. Aren't they cute? My camera's like freaking out. I don't know why because I can't get... There we go. See him all moving? So for anybody that's wondering, this is what baby shrimp look like. These are ghost shrimp. And I'm assuming they're only maybe a day to two days old. This is my first time actually having sh ghost shrimp, so I'm not really sure. I'm trying to find more um, stuff online about how to take care of them. But I think at this point right now, you don't have to worry too, too much about them because they're very tiny. They're not even maybe the size of like the end of a needle. But you can see them moving. And once, you know, they get to that point um, where I don't have to worry about them, I can probably put them in um, a different tank. But I'm obviously not going to probably keep all these. I'll probably end up selling them or giving them to the pet store. But... That's my daughter in the background. <laughs> um, let me see, where are you guys? I noticed yesterday that there was only like two that were up at the surface here. And um, I got up this morning to find that there was all these little guys here. I think they're cool. I'll give you one last close up here so you can see. Come on, focus. There we go. I almost thought they were guppy fry because I have three pregnant um, guppies, but it just they didn't really look like fry. So I went online to see if I could find anything, and I found one picture. And these are identical to what ghost shrimp babies are, so that's what they are. And they're just so cute. The only problem that I'm having is um, the mother must have laid them under the gravel or when I was siphoning up the water and trying to clean a little bit of the gravel, they all got kind of pushed underneath or I must have accidentally um, um, moved the nest. So they all just kind of dispersed. I'm not sure what the deal is, but the ones that are left in the tank um, are most likely are going to get eaten because half of them already are gone. So, But I did manage to save some. So if anybody's wondering, this is what Ghost Trip looked like. Now if anybody has any like suggestions on what I should do to keep them healthy and growing um, please please feel free to leave um, some suggestions below um, that way I know what I'm dealing with um, Petco isn't really very helpful and I'm really disappointed in their services because um, I've lost probably like six or seven door frogs and they're just they're really rude about everything, so I've been going to my local pet store, and I've had absolutely no troubles. And I love Dave Dave Soda and Pet Food City; they are amazing. Um, I when I was little, my dad bought all his fish from them, so I actually used to work there too. So, but yeah. So if anybody has any questions or suggestions, just go ahead and leave them in the comment box below. Oh, here's my kitty. <laughs> Tom Tom. Say hi YouTube. 
Say hi, YouTube. <laughs> Here he goes. And he says, good morning, America. I love this cat. He's such a good boy. All right, guys. Well, I will talk to y'all later. Alrighty. Bye-bye.